Subtopic 1.2, Integration of Trigonometric Functions, Learning Outcomes. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to find the following integrals. First, integrate cos ax dx. Second, integrate sine ax dx. Third, integrate secant square ax dx. And fourth, integrate sine square ax dx and integrate cos square ax dx. Subtopic 1.2, Integration of Trigonometric Functions Part 1, Integral of Sine Ax, Cos Ax and Secant Square Ax So as we know, integration is the process of antiderivative So integration is related to differentiation Let's look at a first example and let's recall differentiation so, if we differentiate sine ax with respect to x, we get a cos ax. But, now, how to integrate cos ax dx and how to relate with differentiation? First, you look at the differentiation process. If we put the integral here and then dx, with respect to x for both sides let's try to simplify from left hand side you integrate and at the same time you differentiate the function with respect to x you get exactly the same function which is sine ax because you do the integration and differentiation at the same time so you get the same function which is sine ax on your right hand side you need to integrate a cos ax dx and a is a constant so you put here a and integrate cos ax dx and the question asks you to find the integration of cos ax dx what you have to do is to rearrange the equation and try to make cos ax dx as a subject this one cos ax dx you make it as a subject so you get um, you bring a to the left and then you get integrate cos ax dx you have sine ax of a and don't forget to plus constant okay so here is the answer you integrate cos ax dx you get sine ax over a plus constant second part differentiate cos ax dx so let's recall differentiation differentiate cos ax with respect to x we get negative a sine ax and if we integrate sine ax dx, we get negative cos ax over a plus c. You may use the same step as above to get this form. Third, differentiate tangent ax with respect to x. You get a secant square ax. And how to integrate secant square ax dx? You do the same process as before the above part so you get tangent ax over a plus c so uh, we may look here that uh, uh, integration is the process of antiderivative so it is related to each other let's try out example one find the following integrals part a integrate sine 4x dx and from previous part we know that uh, if we have integrate sine ax dx, we get a negative cos ax over a plus c. So we simply apply the formula. So our a is 4, so we get a negative cos 4x divided by a, which is 4, and then plus constant. So this is the answer for part a. B, integrate 1 over cos square 2x minus 5 cos 4x dx. So before you integrate, 
uh, try to simplify the function if possible. So we may write that uh, 1 over cos square 2x is equal to secant square 2x and then minus 5 cos 4x dx. So we have two functions to integrate here, secant square and cos 4x. So let's recall from our previous slide. Uh, integrate secant square ax dx, we get tangent ax over a plus constant. Integrate cos ax dx is equal to sine ax over a plus c. So we just refer to the formula. So we have integrate secant square 2x. So the value of a is equal to 2. We get tangent 2x divided by a which is 2 minus 5. Integrate cos 4x. We have sine 4x divided by a which is 4 and then plus constant. Example C, integrate 2 secant square pi minus x over 2 dx. So the answer is uh, 2. 2 is only a constant, so we just copy 2. And then secant square, we integrate secant square, we get tangent. So we have tangent. And then you just copy the angle, which is pi minus x over 2. And the formula is divided by a. a is the coefficient of x, which is negative 1 over 2, and then plus constant. Don't forget to simplify, you get negative 4 tangent pi minus x over 2, and plus constant. Okay. Let's try our example 2. Find the following integrals. Integrate sin x cos 2x plus sin 2x cos x dx. So we need to apply compound angle formula. By looking at this uh, question A, the compound angle formula is sin A plus B. So sin A plus B is equal to sin A cos B plus sin B cos A. So by comparison, our A is equal to x and B is equal to 2x. Therefore, it equals to sin x plus 2x. Okay, because our A is equal to x and B is equal to 2x. So we simplify, we get sin 3x. And applying the formula, integrate sin 3x dx, we get negative cos 3x divided by 3 plus constant. Part B, integrate cos 5x cos 2x plus sin 5x sin 2x dx. Again, we apply compound angle formula which is cos a minus b because we have plus here. So the formula should be minus in between. So cos a minus b is equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. So by comparison, our a is equal to 5x and b is equal to 2x. And we have uh, cos 5x minus 2x. This one is from cos a minus b. And then we simplify, we get integrate cos 3x dx. And again, we apply formula, integrate cos, we may get sine 3x and divided by a, our a is 3 plus constant.